It is now obvious that while Russia has felt the economic pinch of the U.S.-led sanctions, so far they have done nothing to stop Vladimir Putin's aggression toward Ukraine. State Department correspondent Margaret Brennan spoke with the man who crafted those sanctions. With these sanctions, you targeted a number of people very close to Vladimir Putin. Why not sanction him directly? Imposing sanctions on a head of state is an extraordinary measure. It's not, not unprecedented. It is not unprecedented, and we're not ruling anything out. But we're looking to impose costs here while also providing uh, a path to de-escalate this crisis. Sanctions banned travel for a number of Russian officials and froze their U.S. accounts. But some do not even have assets here. The sanctions were openly mocked in Russia. The deputy prime minister, who was himself targeted, said, I think the decree of the president of the United States was written by some joker. You're the sanctions czar. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to that? Is he talking about you? Oh, I don't know who he's talking about. Uh, we often see that same sort of bluster and bravado uh, from people who are the subject of our sanctions. But then we also see that they have real trouble uh, continuing to engage in business around the world and certainly can't do business here in the United States. So you think you've actually caused some real pain? I know we have. Uh, if you look at Bank Russia, the bank that we sanctioned yesterday, it has been cut off from Visa MasterCard. So everybody who has a Bank Russia Visa or MasterCard tried to use it today, transactions are denied. There are uh, whatever accounts that they have, with U.S. financial institutions, and we know they have accounts with U.S. financial institutions, those accounts are frozen. Putin said he plans to open an account at that bank on Monday, dismissing the impact on Russia's financial markets. The White House warned it's preparing a tougher round of sanctions that will hit Russian companies directly if he continues to be defiant. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Margaret Brennan, Washington.